Today, there are many vector databases available to power retrieval augmented generation, otherwise known as RAG, to provide data as context to LLMs. This is useful for Gen AI applications to provide relevant responses to users. Spanner is Google Cloud's powerful, horizontally scalable transactional database. Spanner now supports built-in vector search at virtually unlimited scale. You can use Spanner to perform both similarity and semantic search over your data and return relevant results to your users. Let me show you how it works. First, let's look at an example of a typical RAG application. A user enters a question to your Gen AI application. The app generates an embedding and searches for similar embeddings from the vector database. Then the app queries the operational database for the corresponding data associated with the vector search results and optionally applies additional filtering before returning the relevant results to the app. Finally, the app will reach out to the LLM with a prompt that includes the retrieved data to generate an appropriate response for the user. You can simplify this architecture with Spanner's in-database vector search to remove the need to rely on an external vector database. You can then use SQL to search vectors and access embedding, LLM, or custom ML models. In this simplified architecture, the app passes the question from the user to Spanner, along with other relevant filters via SQL. Spanner then generates an embedding for the question using an embedding model and Spanner's integration with Vertex AI. Next, Spanner searches for similar vector embeddings stored in Spanner using its new vector search capabilities and applies the filters supplied by the app to query the data. Spanner then includes the vector search results in the prompt for the LLM to have it generate a response to the user. This simplified architecture allows you to improve operational simplicity and cost efficiency. Let's look at an example. Let's say I'm looking for a bike to give my toddler for his birthday in a few days. I heard from my friend that Symbol brand bikes are great starter bikes, so I go to their online store and search for bikes. This first query is a very simple query that doesn't leverage vector search. Because of this, the results don't only retrieve bikes, it also gets products related to bikes such as bike helmets. The app would have to post-process these results. This site was just upgraded to include a virtual assistant. The virtual assistant is implemented using Spanner's built-in vector search and integration with embedding and LLM models from Vertex AI. Having vector search in the operational database allows us to easily return items that are semantically relevant and available in inventory based on real-time data. Let's take a look at the vector search. We can see a few things in this query. First, I provide a natural language request from the user to find my bike. This makes it easy to describe what I'm looking for without having to apply additional filters. Spanner's integration with an embedding model makes it easy to use SQL to issue this query. The embeddings are important to get similar items by computing the cosine distance between the embedding of the request and the embeddings of the product description stored in Spanner. Finally, the query will only return results that are in stock. These results are ordered by similarity, and it seems like the products at the top are a good fit for my request. But the online store wants to supply the user with a recommendation on whether each product is a good fit for the request. To do that, we pass the results from the previous query into the ML predict function and ask the LLM to let us know if the product is a good fit for a bike for a three-year-old. And we can see the response for each product. The symbol Sprout is a fit for my three-year-old because it is within the age group the product mentions in the description and is in stock. The LLM was able to identify that the other products are not as good fits based on their product descriptions. In this example, we generated embeddings from Vertex AI's text embedding model that's available from the model garden. However, you can use any custom model that you have deployed to Vertex AI or directly load your pre-generated embeddings into Spanner. In this video, you saw how easy it is to perform vector search in Spanner. You can combine vector queries with regular queries and get results based on real-time data. You also saw how you can access LLM models directly in Spanner using SQL to generate relevant responses based on vector search results.
Spanner's horizontally scalable architecture enables it to be both an operational database and a vector database that scales. It's a great fit to power Gen AI applications like virtual assistants that need to support hundreds of millions of users. Let me know in the comments below how you are thinking about building RAG applications backed by your operational database. Try Spanner out today by following the link in the description below and get started.